Now, you'll find more information, though, on the Dead Sea Scrolls than the Gnostic Gospels, right? I think that's the shading, too, right? That's the Catholic influence over the church, which is Roman-based. It's not Christ-based. Roman Catholics. You're not Catholic enough for Christ. You're Constantine enough. But you're not Catholic enough. Your emperor couldn't even accept if the woman brought to him was his wife or not. Because he couldn't figure out how if his wife cheated on him, would he have to forgive her <laughs> when he was going to stone her himself? Don't tell me I don't know that's political when I hear politics. Now, if you're going to be like Jesus and the woman is his wife, according to the reading of the word used in even the Catholic-based doctrine right. from 325 AD right. the first Greek word used there is gamakia mm -hmm. mm -hmm. which was also used to marry after Joseph married her right. mm -hmm. this is political oh, no, it's political when something's political, someone don't like the idea here. <laughs> His name is Constantine, the Emperor of Rome. Right. True, do. Right. Now, what it's really saying, I don't know, technically, if she is Jesus' wife, right, is instead of stoning her, he forgave her. <laughs> That's the whole point to the story. Right. <laughs> Tell you who that. Now, I'm probably doing it a little off with the spelling, but it is G U N A I K A. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong too, right? <laughs> But that's the same word used when Joseph married Mary and took her as his wife. <laughs> this woman is someone's wife. Now, you don't bring her to a Jewish rabbi <laughs> unless she's the rabbi's wife. <laughs> and you caught her with another man. That would be scandalous for Jesus. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. <laughs> And the problem is, uh, mm -hmm. how the fuck do you know my wife was another man? <laughs> I'm here in the temple. Oh, no. Preach it. <laughs> I'm going to also know you are trying to entrap her with that man. And again, <laughs> they talk of seven men, men having one woman, right? And the woman at the well had six husbands, or five husbands and a lover. You don't get that point, neither do you. Seven women! Shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only those be called by thy name to take away our flesh. Isaiah 4 1. Read it. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. the reproach of a woman in ancient times was having a child. I know it was. Yep. <laughs> As Rachel. Ask Sarah. Mm -hmm. Ask Hannah. <laughs> That's the point. That's the point. <laughs> and no, you don't need seven children. <laughs> From Kanye either. <laughs> but one would be enough. One would be enough. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Don't worry about you ever. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Though that's the point too. I don't even judge that if my wife married another man. You know what I mean? Right. I can't do nothing about that. All right. 
But I still don't know who she is. <laughs> and unlike in Jesus' day, they're trying to find ways to have babies, you know, differently now, right? I can't judge that either, either. Mm -hmm. But I do know mm -hmm, the first word is wife. <laughs> and unless she's the rabbi's wife, you don't even involve him. <laughs> I don't know. It's not his business, right? Unless it's his own wife. I don't know. They don't do that anywhere with any married woman caught in the act of adultery. <laughs> they don't bring her to some man she don't even know. <laughs> Damn. Are you insane? Yes, we're insane. <laughs> but your logic fails you because you're not seeing it from John's perspective. He's a Jewish convert, right? <laughs> He knows why also Jesus forgave her. He also knows why mm -hmm. <laughs> it is his wife. And he knows her real name. He knows her real name. <laughs> yes, he does. He knows who it is. And probably who she was caught with. <laughs> he don't tell you none of that, though, does he? <laughs> uh -oh, uh -oh. Wonder why. Wonder why. <laughs> Who was she caught with? <laughs> a man who was not brought with her. Because <laughs> like I told you, whoever he was, <laughs> the husband has the right to disown them. Who? Both. Both. <laughs> That's another reason he was able to forgive her and not stone her by Moses' law. Now, <laughs> I don't know exactly what the word both is for Greek or Hebrew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But it would be very simple to wipe it down. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but you gotta bring them both. <laughs> you gotta bring them both. <laughs> Where's the man? Where's the man? <laughs> I heard another pastor say that too. Right. A black pastor, a black pastor. <laughs> I know. But that don't mean you get to cheat on each other either. <laughs> Forgiveness of it. <laughs> is to give her a second chance with him, perhaps even after the resurrection. Wouldn't it blow your mind if a man crucified on the church got his wife pregnant after the resurrection? <laughs> Don't even think of it that way, huh? <laughs> the seven seals, according to John, is tied into the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 11. <laughs> Men are sealing the truth, they're playing dumb to it, though learned, right? And they're playing like they can't understand it if dumb. <laughs> you know what that means. You're being a smart ass and a dumb ass. <laughs> At the same time. Pretending you don't know the truth. <laughs> and what can God do with you <laughs> if you played up? <laughs> Both the learned and the unlearned. <laughs> One, you can kind of understand it, but even then, Shad is Shad and <laughs> Shadim is Shadim, and Shaddai is pressed enough. <laughs> in the middle, in the middle of the two, he's one of us all. <laughs> Not just the man, nor the woman either. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's above us all, but in you all. But you don't want to really be in him with the woman, so you fake your own doctrine with Constantine. <laughs> that was a parody of River of the Night. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> my Billy Joel, my Billy Joel. <laughs> And that's your problem. Mm -hmm. You don't forgive anymore. I know. <laughs> when, if your wife is cheating on you, you're the one making her. You're the one making her. Right? I don't even go there for sex, right? <laughs> and if you challenge me, if I'm shamed, what can I do to prove it to you I'm shamed, right? First thing is my scars on my head. Yeah, the second thing is the scar on my ankle, right? Third thing is I can show your wife my damn scars on 
My bad was only her. <laughs> I don't show it to me and you don't show it to me and <laughs> and I'm alone in the bathroom with her for a little bit <laughs> but she knows I'm the same person she knows you're the same person you can see two of the scars without me showing you anything only she can see the two other scars on my pelvis <laughs> but if she wants to see that she's got to do more than but <laughs> So you think we're going to have sex back there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or whether we do or not, you know, it don't matter. <laughs> I know that. But two of the scars I can show you without having to get naked. Two I can't. <laughs> Told you that too. I know. Only she can see my scars on my pelvis, not you. Not you. <laughs> And I didn't come here to show you I'm Shane again. I'm always Shane. Who else can I be? The scars on my hand prove it every time I show it to you. The scar on the eagle proves it. Not a lot of men are actually scarred that way. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> on one eagle only, too. Right. <laughs> I know. Mm-hmm. But if that ain't enough for you, the only thing I can do is show your wife the scars, right? <laughs> and only she can see them, not you, not you. And she can verify it for you if you want her to again, <laughs> Michael. But not you. It ain't your business, the scars on my pelvis. Only a woman can see those. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And again, I'm not going out there to prove anything to you. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about, right? <laughs> I know. But like I said, I did not go out there to have sex with her unless she suggested it first, and then we did it, and then we came back, and then we ate the food, and then we left, right? Right. <laughs> mm. <laughs> But are you trying to keep her from me like I'm after her and yet suddenly I find her again? What's going on there, right? <laughs> Did you wait that long to let her work by herself again, right? <laughs> and I just happened to go by again when you finally did? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Coincidence. Coincidence. I know. <laughs> you mean I know every time she's out there and she agrees and goes back and has sex with me and then we come back? Yeah, I don't know. Right? Because <laughs> I do something you don't. Give her the choice. <laughs> you won't give her. Mm -hmm. Same with your wife. I'm not going back there to fuck her. I just only want to show her the scars. Right? And that everything works <laughs> the same way. <laughs> but to do that, what? I gotta fuck her? <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> everything works the same. <laughs> You're getting crazy in your old age. <laughs> well, is Alex mine or yours? <laughs> I don't even know that. I don't even know that. Because <laughs> my main problem the main whole time was mainly Kelly. <laughs> I don't know. Trying to figure out what her angle with her husband is. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> or is that her brother? Or is that something else, right? I don't know. I don't know. But she's the one who kind of started getting me to hang out for over an hour anyway. <laughs> when I started eating that there. <laughs> now before, like I said, I'd I constantly go to buffets or Chinese restaurants anyway. <laughs> Especially one where I get to sit down. <laughs> That's just a habit I had. Had nothing to do with your particular restaurant besides the fact that it was a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> And that's all I'm trying to show Kelly the whole time. I eat Chinese food. Get over it. <laughs> Not trying to do nothing with you. Get over it. <laughs> Not even in the bathroom. Get over it. <laughs> but I'm also walking on it, so don't tip me. Right. <laughs> yeah, Mary Bell called after that. What you think? What you think? <laughs> Desperately short of water. Access to water is a fundamental mess in human life. 
can scientists engineer a solution before it's too late? Oh, yeah, man. Mm. But see, Jesus doesn't want you to follow him blindly now, does he, scientist? No. no. And Paul wants you to walk by faith, but not by sight, Christian. But you're talking about a blind man. Who, when he wrote, according to um, some scholars, the only place he might have wrote is in Galatians, right? And talking about writing such big letters for you to read his writing. And, uh, <laughs> now his thorn in his flesh was probably his what? Eyesight. Eyesight. <laughs> but the blind man <laughs> is still a blind man. Right? And even though he knows things about Christ, right, through the scriptures, he's still a Pharisee. He's still a Pharisee. He's still... Jewish in his thinking right? and he's still relating it to you with judgment not forgiveness as Christ says you're to do right? if you want to forgive a crime right? and he forgave everything done to him on the cross father forgive that they know not what they do right? what well, part of that don't you understand is why he was resurrected right I know not because he condemned the sinner, right? But forgave us all our sins, right? Past, present, and future. Mm -hmm. But some people don't want to learn that. Right? Some people don't want to forget. Right? Therefore, you is, are, and are not like the devil. Mm -hmm. You're here for a brief time, right? And you're always here mm -hmm. for your brief time. You do have one life to live, but I think it's every 70,000 to 120,000 to 840 million years. I'm not sure, right? <laughs> How's all working out exactly, right? But I do know this. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And from the Big Bang, according to the scientists, the matter of the universe was spread out all over the universe. But they think that was 15 billion years ago. Mm -hmm. Now, as the matter spreads out, the spirit has to control it all. Mm -hmm. Or it's just matter flung everywhere, too. <laughs> Damn. Right. <laughs> no. Something is controlling the matter, right? Whether you can see it or not, right? That's our God. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something made us on this planet. It's our little planet farm, right? You make an ant farm for an ant, right? This is our planet farm. <laughs> and this is the planet we got to worry about first. Not Mars, not Mercury, not Uranus. <laughs> Obscure sex it is. Obscure sex it is. <laughs> and what was the evil Satan showed at him? <laughs> Which is why he wouldn't mind as much, but he might would mind since he was a virgin. <laughs> You figure it out. <laughs> gay people. Gay men. If you never did it before under Jesus during the sixth day, <laughs> who would show you that? Which one of them <laughs> would show you the knowledge of good and evil? <laughs> and it ain't playing patty cake with your wife. <laughs> it's showing her too. <laughs> and they get you to do his two holes. <laughs> To get your one hole. <laughs> Satan offered him two holes for the price of one. You ever heard of that? Being a devil's devil? <laughs> you say you're getting a bargain with him. <laughs> until it's your turn. Right? Then you wish you'd never done it. <laughs> and it's not like Charlie Daniels where the devil went down to Georgia, right? <laughs> At all. <I> know. <laughs> Johnny wasn't the one. <laughs> he wasn't the way at first either. <laughs> He would have went first and then the devil would have wound up. Leave me anyway. Get real. Get real, Charlie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's not how the devil does it. <laughs> and Charlie ain't giving the devil his due, is he? <laughs> so. See, the devil would play last and Charlie would play first. Right? You know what I mean? 
Mm-hmm. Let's get real, yeah. <laughs> and the devil would do such a good song. Johnny would play it until down and pick it up again. <laughs> and then Bob's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what the deal with the devil really is about, too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's not about a fiddle of gold to get your soul. <laughs> I'm sorry. It ain't something that <laughs> elaborate. <laughs> if you need a word for it. <laughs> it's something very, very simple with the deal with the devil. <laughs> You'll exchange sex for a music career that right. That's the devil. I know that. He'll try to quid pro quo you when you're in, in the Navy. <laughs> and they won't train you to be an electrician. Though they're trying to scare you by getting to electrocute himself. And that ain't working either. I know, that ain't working either. You just can't do the job if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but you can do a job. <laughs> Even if it's working down some of us today, paint them jet. If that's all you can do, that's all you can do. <laughs> If it's cleaning the damn toilets, because you would sooner than that than let you keep yourself, you have to do that for at least a year, right? <laughs> Until your third year, which is when you met the girl. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, by then I was worried about a redhead, <laughs> but took up with the African mixed girl, I guess, or whatever she was, right? She said she was Japanese, but I don't know, right? I don't know. Unless she was talking about I look Japanese to her, which would be a lie. <laughs> but I had sex with her anyway. I know you did. <laughs> I don't deny that. <laughs> never have, never have. And I wasn't doing it to um, break up with her ever, you know. Until nine months later, of course, right? Then I got to, then I got to. I did all a logical man could do, right? Same so with Dafty. She didn't get weird towards the end. But she's the one acting out first, not me. You know? So if I never met her daughter, why would she wake me up in the middle of the night anyway? Don't that sound suspicious? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I know. I'm not saying she did. I never once said anything inappropriate about the story. Right. All I can say is laying on the couch, I could have molested her, but didn't. <laughs> if you're so fucked up, you can't understand what that means. <laughs> it had nothing to do with Daphne and her daughter or me and her you. <laughs> you were butt fucked in the Navy then. <laughs> and are trying to hide it. <laughs> and it fucked you up. <laughs> Whoever did it to you too. <laughs> I don't know that. I don't know that. But he probably wasn't supposed to, but he probably did a deal with the devil with you, too. Right. You couldn't do a deal with the devil with me. <laughs> I reckon that is the devil's uh, tricks, by the way. <laughs> and the first thing he's going to ask you if you're gay, you tell him no. <laughs> devil Ben. Ben is son. Devil is your name. Ben Campbell Soup Wannabe. Son of Belial, they called you in the Old Testament. <laughs> I forgive you, though. Two. Mm-hmm. I just told you what? No. No. <laughs> Three times. No. I even knocked you upside the head, trying to knock some sense into you. <laughs> no means no in my book. <laughs> Let your yes be yes. And your no, no. No other way to see it. <laughs> Read your own fucked up book that says yes means no and no means yes and you gonna just mess it up. <laughs>